the nicest things about that I done here. It was called um, a, a pint of science. So it was actually at a brewery at six o'clock during happy hour. They invited me and other scientists to talk about this. And we had this conversation in a bar with like local bar goers and some scientists who were in the room about these topics. And people were like, oh my God, the word vagina, it's just, it scares people, you know? It's like, no, you have to, you have kids. They, this is what you have to talk about. This is where the cervical cancer occurs. All these things are things that we have to have conversations about. And so to me, as you can tell, I'm, I love doing this and I'm passionate about it and I really want to, you know, work on it. Um, I often have to encounter conversations or have conversations with parents about, you know, vaccination. You know, human papilloma viruses is described as a sexually transmitted disease. Okay, but I, I, I would argue that obviously it is transmitted sexually, but it's a cancer disease. This is not, you know, we're not here to prevent just sexually transmitted diseases. We're here to prevent cancer. And, and there's this idea that, you know, well, my child is not going to have, you know, sexual intercourse until they're, you know, able to make those decisions. And of course, we know that, you know. Uh, society has shown that that's not correct. You know, we need to get our children vaccinated. We need to get our, our young girls and our young boys vaccinated. You know, starting from the age of 13, which is the, the uh, prescribed age to begin treatment with the uh, viral vaccine. Um, not only do I, do, do I deal with this as an academic in the, in the laboratory and, in, and with the undergraduates and graduate students in the university, but I'm also a parent. I have kids, I have boys, and I have one girl. Um, and all my children who are over the age of 12 have been vaccinated and are going through the process of vaccination. Um, I also happen to be very involved in my kids' lives and I have conversations with the parents of my daughters in particular uh, and also with my sons telling the parents, and listen, you have to get over this uh, stigma that this is a sexually transmitted disease. This is a cancer treatment. This is a cancer prevention uh, effort that you need to talk to your physician and let them know that you know, you're interested in, you know, in learning more about the, the vaccine uh, and you'll find that you will see yourself realizing that I want to pre prevent my son or daughter from having um, uh, the, the virus that can eventually lead to carcinoma and cancer biology.